evidence comes as New York officials said Friday they found more than $1 billion in wire transfers by the Sacklers, fueling claims that the billionaire family was trying to protect its assets offshore amid their growing legal battles. Joining me now is Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro, who is personally suing the Sackler family. Attorney General, good to see you again. Thank you for joining us. Look, this is a complicated story. You and I have talked about it several times, but let's try and understand here that Purdue Pharma is a standalone company. The Sackler families are the founders and the, and the major shareholders in it. Uh, this last piece of evidence from New York that they've, uh, they, they've they sent a, a, a money into a, a Swiss bank account, there appears to have been a lot of that going on over the years with Purdue Pharma. Exactly. Purdue's not a typical company, not just for the product that they were making, but the way in which the company was working, which is why here in Pennsylvania, we not only sued Purdue Pharma, but we also sued the Sacklers personally. Here's basically what was happening over the years. When they were making tens of billions of dollars off the sale of OxyContin, they weren't leaving all that money sitting at Purdue Pharmaceuticals. What the Sackler family, who own and operate Purdue, were doing was they were sucking that money out of the company. And then they were sending it to offshore accounts. They were sending it to trusts. And eventually that money was just going into the pockets of the Sacklers. So when a company like Purdue declares bankruptcy, as they did you know, late last night, the real assets aren't sitting at the company anymore. It's sitting in the pockets of these billionaire Sacklers. And it's my job as the Attorney General of Pennsylvania to reach in to their greedy pockets and pull some of that money out for the people here in Pennsylvania who've been harmed as a result of their conduct at Purdue Pharma. Let's talk about what uh, legally the impediment or opportunity is in Purdue Pharma declaring bankruptcy. Uh, does it matter if you were one of the states that was in on this uh, agreement or one of the states that weren't? Is there any material uh, effect to people who are trying to recover money from Purdue Pharma or the Sacklers? Well, to, to be clear, there's no formal settlement yet. There may be, there may not be. There are 20 plus states that have agreed to it, and there are more states that have agreed not to accept those terms. We'll see what happens. What I think Purdue is trying to do is run away from their responsibility for the opioid crisis, which here in Pennsylvania is claiming the lives of 12 Pennsylvanians every day and 200 people each day across the country. They're trying to run away from that responsibility. And I think they're also trying to shield themselves from litigation. What we've done here in Pennsylvania is sue them in our state courts, not just the company, but the Sacklers personally. When you think about this bankruptcy, what they'll try to do, of course, is say any litigation pending against Purdue needs to be stayed or you need to hold off on that while you go through the bankruptcy process. But last I checked, the Sacklers didn't personally declare bankruptcy. And so our lawsuit is going to continue full steam ahead against the Sacklers, the people that have profited off of targeting seniors and targeting veterans here in population with their product, the people that engaged in a campaign to lie about the addictive nature of their product and suppress actual medical information that showed it was addictive. They're the people who are going to pay. They're the people who are going to be accountable, Ali. And to be clear, it's not just making sure that we take some of their ill-gotten gains uh -huh. and use it for treatment here in Pennsylvania. It's also about real transparency. It's also about these families I've met along the way who are suffering because a loved one died or a loved one is battling addiction. It's about making sure there's transparency for them to show that the Sacklers and Purdue committed wrong and to make sure that that's part of the ultimate uh, equation here. Josh Shapiro, uh, good to talk to you as always. Josh Shapiro is the Attorney General of Pennsylvania. Up next, breaking news, the Manhattan DA subpoenas eight years